Hello again to all my friends, students, parents, teachers, whoever you are watching this video. As always, it is Mr. Benjamin. Smiling, happy to be alive, happy to be here with you. Today, we are going to talk about hot dogs. No, not really, but I do have a picture of hot dogs. I think it's awesome, so I'm going to show you. See? I think that's an awesome picture. That guy is so excited to be a hot dog, it's ridiculous. Now, we are actually going to be starting a new chapter. It's chapter one, and this chapter is dealing with factors and exponents. The first lesson in factors and exponents is multiples. So, without further ado, we're going to talk about what this video is designed for. A quick reminder, this video goes with my flipped classroom. So you have Bart over here, he's flipped himself around, and he says, I will not flip the classroom upside down. But why shouldn't we flip the classroom upside down? We're going to do it anyways. We're going to see how it works. So, the video you watch as homework. So most of you that are watching this video now are students in my class, and you're watching it, and we'll talk about it the next day. Some of you may be watching it as a supplementary device to get more information, to get some clarification, which by all means, please do. Now, to go with the video, we now have handouts, so please complete this. As you're watching the video, you can write down some information to go with that handout. Again, that's for, excuse me, students in my class. The work you will do in the next day. Alrighty. So, our learning goals for today. Today, we are going to identify multiples. Specifically within multiples, we're looking for common multiples. So if I give you two numbers, I want you to list off all the multiples for those numbers and find the common ones. You can even do it with three or four or five numbers. Within that, we are going to identify the least common multiple or the lowest common multiple of whole numbers. This is often known as the LCM. So as we just said, the LCM is our least or lowest common multiple. Now, that is defined as the least whole number. I'm going to use red instead. The least or lowest, that's an S, whole number. Now that's, that's not a hashtag, that's a number sign. At least that's what it was when I was growing up. The least whole number that has two or more given numbers Two or more given numbers as factors. Now, that's a lot of words for a definition, and you think, oh, I want a definition of a word or a phrase. I want it to be more simple. What always goes well with these are examples. So on the next page here, we've got an example. If I ask you to find the lowest common multiple of two numbers, 6 and 8, what ways would you go about doing it? I'll tell you how I'd do it. First thing I would do is list off all of the factors of that number, or the multiples, excuse me. List off all the, num the multiples of the number. So if we start off at 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. I'm going to run out of space here, 42, and we'll go to 48. It's kind of hard to see that last one, but that's definitely a 48. Now you may be asking, well, how did you get those numbers? It kind of just looks like... Well, there seems to be a pattern. You're going up by 6 each time. But I'm still not entirely sure how to get there. Well, I'll show you how we get there. If you take our first number, our 6, you multiply 6 by 1, you get 6. If you then multiply 6 by 2, you get 12. Multiply 6 by 3, you get 18. And if you keep doing that over and over and over again, you will get all of your multiples of that value. So we're going to do the exact same for 8. Okay, 8, we'll start off with 8 because that's 8 by 1. The next multiple for 8 is 16 because that's 8 by 2. Next one we have is 24, which is 8 multiplied by 3. And I'm running out of room on the bottom here, so I'm just going to erase those. But I hope you have the idea. After 24, we end up with 32. After 32, we have 40. After 40, we have 48. 
and after 48, we have 56. Now, I know some of you at home are saying, wait, 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 we have some common numbers here. First off, 48. Whoops, I just erased it. I wanted to highlight that. Let's try that again. 48. Those are both common. However, this is not the lowest common multiple. There is another number that is common here. If we look at 24, it's a horrible highlighting job. There you go, 24. Both of these values are common. See, they're the same. So that is the lowest common multiple for 6 and 8. Now, as always, we finish with a therefore statement. Therefore, the lowest common multiple, and I'm going to run out of room here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the lowest common multiple and just write LCM. The LCM for 6 and 8 is 24. And that's our final statement. Let's try another example. We're going to use different numbers here. We're going to use 5 and 12. So same idea. We're going to take 5, and we're going to take 12, and we're going to list off all of the multiples. Now remember, multiples for 5. 5 multiplied by 1 equals 5. 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. So these are where our multiples are coming from. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, if you have more space on your page, by all means, keep it, because it's good to have that information. But I don't have too much, so I'm going to write it out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I might need a few more numbers here. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. 70. Okay, that sounds probably really boring when you listen to it. And I also made a mistake there. It's actually 70, not 75. It's okay to make mistakes. So 4, 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's a lot of multiples. Let's see if we need them all. Let's try 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, Eight, four. Do we have do we have a common multiple here yet? 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 5, Ooh, looks like we do. So I've got, oh, I erased it again. I've got 60 here in 5, and I've also got 60 in 12. Now, one thing you may have noticed, if we multiply 5 by 12, we actually get 60. So any time you're looking for a common multiple with two numbers, if you multiply them together, you will absolutely get a common multiple. However, it might not be the lowest common multiple, okay? In our previous example, 6 and 8, our lowest common multiple was 24. If you multiply 6 by 8, you end up with 48. So it's actually half of our lowest, or it's twice our lowest common multiple. And for 5 and 12, like we said, our lowest common multiple is 60. So again, your therefore statement, let me just erase this here. Therefore, our oops, LCM for 5 and 12 is 60. So I'm going to give you a challenge now. The challenge is to tell me what you like on your hot dogs. No, but seriously, I want, to, I want you to tell me how many hot dogs or how many packages you need to buy if you are having a party with 100 guests. Before you do that, though, you need some information. So our hot dogs are sold in packs of 12. That means one pack of hot dogs contains 12 individual hot dogs. Our buns, which you kind of need if you're having hot dogs... Our buns are sold in packs of eight. And I never understood why companies would do this. It's like they want you to spend more money. I digress. First thing you're going to do is find the LCM. Now, a good way of doing that, remember, is to list both numbers, eight, whoops, eight and 12, and write all of the multiples out. And you will eventually find the LCM. Now, after that, I want you to tell me, if you were to have a party with 100 guests, I want to know how many packs of each you would need to buy. Okay? Please, for my students, get that done on your worksheet and bring it in tomorrow. As always, I'm going to say thank you.
tracing over my original thank you with a large pink marker, and it doesn't look as good as it did before. But anyways, thank you again. Have a wonderful day.